Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to your physics classroom. I am Lawala Lekunji, your physics tutor. To our returning viewers, welcome back to your classroom. To our new viewers, welcome to physics classroom. Please do where to press your subscribe button. Turn on your notification button. Press your like and share button and put comments in the comment box. Yes, as we have all known that we are still in the season of NECO 2025 and physics will be written very soon in the next few hours let me say that uh, these are the information we just received that we help us in this physics examination we are preparing for now all what you need to do as a candidate that want to write this exam pick up your book your pen as we do it together we have received quite some questions here to treat together which we pray that they'll come out in your exam when you are writing this is question 10 question 10 a 10 b 11 a 11 b 11 c 1 11 c 2 12 a 1 12 a 2 i think we have 12 b we have 12 c we have 12 c we have um 13 a we have 13 b b1 13 b1 b2 b3 14 a i think it's still at the back this part at the section b these are the section b parts 14 b 15A, 15B, you know your physics questions will be, uh, the theory will be divided into two. We have a section A where you have a few, uh, those questions that maybe each of them carry three marks. And you have the section B where you have to answer any three. So here we have, with the questions, our own is to solve. You know, this is a classroom, our own is to revise with you and to make sure that uh, we Try our best to bring the success you are waiting for. Now, without any wasting of time, let's start solving the question. My capital is here. My papers are also here as usual. My papers are here. I think I have like two or three pages of paper. Or let me sorry, pieces of paper. All right, let's start solving. Let this place be my solving page, and let me rule. Let me rule now. I have um, all what you need right now is pick up your book and pen. Make sure you do skip any parts because you are doing writing the exam. And take this opportunity to get your own distinction. So we start solving right now. Now let's go by the first question. The 10 question 10. It says a 40 volt electric heater is used to supply a current of 12 ampere for 1400 seconds to a body of mass 1.5 kg <clears throat> at its melting point that is first sentence the second sentence in this statement said the body melts and its temperature rises by 60 degrees celsius in an extra 1.2 minutes calculate a the latent heat of fusion of the body calculate b the specific latent heat of the body this is a very simple question this is a question uh that relates heat energy and electrical energy together you can see electric heater that is electrical energy aspect and we can see the body change in temperature that is the x aspect of the thermal uh, physics thermal energy as well so in this situation this question we will be the law that we call the first law of thermodynamics. All of us know that law very well. The law states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can change from one form to another. That change is what we are seeing here, that this energy will be, will be moved from electrical to heat. And how can we solve this question? Anytime you want to solve this question, do where to read your word very well. And interpret you now know that the question is very simple without wasting time let me quickly go on so i call this place solution 
call this place solution what is next thing let's start interpreting they gave us votes as 40 given my v is 40 volts they give us current i 12 ampere our i is 12 ampere what again are we given they give us something time for 1400 seconds 1400 seconds my parameters are there now there are some things we need to monitor here remember when i was reading the question i said sentence one they said 1,400 to a body of mass 1.5, the mass of the body M. M is, let me write very well, M is 1.5 kg. Look at this question very well. This question is what we call two questions in one scenario or one statement or one story. And I call it why the first statement or the first sentence stopped started at A, stop at this point. The second one started from D and ended at the 12 minutes. Telling that in this story, we are going to solve two questions and those are the two questions, latent heat of fusion and the specific latent specific heat capacity of the body. Without wasting time, now let's start. That is the first question here, we want to talk about, look at my action point here. You can see my hand, melting point. This aspect is talking about the environment of latent heat. You know, latent heat, is the quantity or is the amount of its energy required to change a substance from one state to another without any change in temperature that without any change in temperature we are referring to is the melting point it can be melting point like in this question and this the, our constant temperature here is a melting point at times it can be boiling point it can be even be vaporization it can be freezing point that is the, the temperature will be kept constant that is in this scenario we are talking about latent heat and what the formula that really that latent heat says according to electricity we say ivt you know we want to find l the latent heat so ivt equals to ml so what is our i without wasting time i is 12 what's our v v is 40 and what's our t 1400 equals to what's our m 1.5 l now you also pick up your calculator put your answer in the comment box i pause for a few seconds waiting for your answer in the comment box drop your answer in the comment box so that we confirm and we approve the answers together all right so with my own calculator here i pick it up 12 sorry let me do that very well 12 times 40 times 1400 that one give us um what six seven two thousand six hundred and seventy two thousand equals to one point five l so making us a formula a becomes six seven two thousand over one point five now let's go the answer we got divided by one point five was the response we got uh, four four camera should pick it up Four four eight thousand. We have our L as four four eight thousand four hundred and forty eight thousand. The unit of specific latent heat anywhere in the world is joules per kilogram. That's how we set to question ten A. Now that we have set to question ten A, we want to go to set to question ten B. To set to question 10b, that is, we need to resume the second statement. The body melts and its temperature rises. Change in temperature. This is one is a statement on the topic heat capacity. You know, heat capacity is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature. You can see rise, temperature rise. To raise or to rise, to increase the temperature of a body by 1 Kelvin. So now we have set to question A. Let me call this place A. And I'm going to B now with the parameters. What are the new parameters given to us? They gave us change in temperature, given new information, given the change in temperature that you call theta 2 minus theta 1. They gave us that one as what? 60 degree. 
60 degree and before I move forward I need to let us know some things um, there are some topics in physics now whenever you are given temperature you don't convert the temperature okay let me say it like this for let me say for this level when I say this level I'm referring to all level people writing work writing echo writing jump at their own level those who have not entered an institution let me speak at your own level we have two topics in physics that uh, we don't convert temperature you use temperature the way you are given if you are given in kelvin you use it in kelvin if you are given in uh degree celsius you use it in degree you use it in form of degree celsius what are those topics what are those topics number one this topic you can say its capacity topic the thermal physics this environment its capacity and number two is expansivity where you talk about linear expansivity area expansivity cubic expansivity you don't change you don't convert the temperature you use it the way you are given so now to solve this question i'm not converting this temperature that's what i'm telling you indirectly now they give us time extra 1.2 minutes the new time is 1.2 minutes minutes must be converted to second the standard unit si units of time is second so there'll be 1.2 times 60 that won't give us 72 seconds that is 72 seconds so still using an existing formula the only difference is that where we use ml you are not going to use the formula for the quantity of it that we call mc change in theta what am i saying we now have ivt equals to mc theta 2 minus theta 1 initial is 1 final is 2 so what is my i still existing i is only the time that changed my i is still 12 my v is still 40 but time has changed to 72 equals to it's still the same body the same body that is the mass one point what 1.5 but this time around we want to find a specific its capacity of the body we want to find c we want to find c open bracket our change in temperature has been given as 60. very simple we can use calculator to start defining it from here so what am i saying 112 times 40 times 72 that one give us a uh, 3 4 30, 34,560 34,560 equals let's go by 1.5 times um, 6 is it 60 yeah times 60 so that one give us 90 that one give us 90 so we have 90 c makes this sort of formula c equals to 34,560 over 90 i believe calculator can also do that to make our work easier and faster so we have three four five sixty divided by 90 and the answer here is three eight four so here we have three eight four i know what will not be the unit of specific heat capacity is joules per kilogram per kelvin joules per kilogram per Kelvin, and that is how we set to um, question 10 all together. Question 10 A gone, question 10 B gone as well. All right, thank you. As we move to question 11, like I told you, don't skip any part. If the video is too long, you may be cutting it. Your only is just to follow the sequence and click the next video. In case you don't see the next video on your screen, you check our playlist, you see the next video. I will continue it. Now, I'm now going to number 11A.